So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the structure and the function of muscle anatomy. So there are three types of muscles in the body. You've got skeletal muscle, you've got cardiac muscle, and you've got uh, smooth muscle. So skeletal muscle is an involunt is a voluntary uh, muscle group. It's innervated by the somatic nervous system. And then you've got cardiac and smooth muscle. Both of these are involuntary, and they're both innervated by the autonomic nervous system, although there's some different mechanisms that they work together and then they work separately but uh, they're both uh, innervated by the autonomic nervous system. So where are all these muscles located? Well, skeletal muscle is associated with bones. So it's found, uh, you know, we see it every day in the biceps and triceps. We, it also surrounds cavities. So things like your abdominal muscles, then you've got your diaphragm, which helps us to breathe. And then you've got the extrinsic muscles of the eye. So that allows for eye movement, maybe uh, to the right or to the left and up and down allows us to look around without moving our head. Cardiac muscle is only found in the heart, but smooth muscle is found in the walls of hollow organs. So you've got your vessels, your blood vessels, your aorta. Uh, it's also found in the respiratory, digestive, and excretory tracts. And it's also found around the capsule of the spleen. Now, smooth muscle is also found in the intrinsic muscles of the eye. So this is the iris. And uh, it's also responsible for the, um, the muscles that hold the lens in place and allows the lens to stretch and to contract so that it can change depending on where we're looking. So what are the muscle functions? Well, muscles are, are responsible for movement and propulsion. So what do I mean? Well, when we're talking about skeletal muscle, we're literally talking about locomotion. We're talking about reaching over. We're talking about uh, picking things off the ground. We're talking about lifting your arms. We're also talking about grasping things, uh, movement of your head. We're talking about breathing movements. And when I say breathing movements, hey, I can take a big deep breath. That's what I'm talking about when we're talking about breathing movements. Even though breathing is kind of a, an automatic response, breathing is still skeletal muscle. Cardiac muscle propels blood through the cardiovascular system. That's its job. Smooth muscle, we're talking about propulsion. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about moving food and different types of fluids. So GI tract, we're gonna move digestive, we're gonna move food down the digestive tract. We're talking about urinary, where we're talking about moving urine into the bladder from the kidneys. And when we're talking about micturition, this is literally peeing. So we're talking about moving from uh, urine from the bladder to the, to the outside, down the urethra. Now, I know that some of you may say, oh, wait, no, when I push on my abdomen really hard when I'm going to the bathroom, I can make it go out faster. You're not actually doing anything. You're actually just increasing the, uh, the intra-abdominal pressure by squeezing down on your, on your uh, abdominal muscles. You're actually not squeezing down on the bladder. The bladder just uh, goes down and squeezes and pushes all of it out. Uh, your, the uterus is also, uh, ha also has smooth muscle in it, and it contracts whenever uh, childbirth occurs. And of course, you've got defecation. Um, the process of passing that stool is stimulated by smooth muscle. So I know that muscles have a bunch of cool functions, but what else do they do? Well, first off, they regulate blood pressure. So smooth muscles contract in the arterial, so in, the, in some of the blood vessels, to constrict and dilate. So if we need blood pressure to go up, you'll get constriction. If you need blood pressure to go down, they'll dilate. It's also responsible for posture. Skeletal muscle is responsible for keeping you up in place so that you don't become a big giant heap in the middle of the floor. We have this thing called muscle tonus, and what it is is it's a mild contraction throughout the entire process and what we, or throughout the entire day, and what it does is it kind of reminds us where we are in space. So you'll get an idea and say, hey, okay, well, I'm leaning over too much. I kind of need to lean back. That tells me that my muscles are just contracting in little variations to keep me in place. The other thing that muscles do is they're responsible for body heat production. So when muscles break down glucose, they uh, a result of that is um, heat is given off. So since 40% of our body mass is skeletal muscle, um, as we contract throughout the day, we generate heat. What's really cool and really interesting about the body is that whenever, let's say you get a virus or an infection and you're, you get a fever, what's happening in the brain is the brain is saying, hey, we're going to turn up the heat because we suspect that um, this virus or infection is susceptible to high temperatures. Well, we need to generate heat. So how do we do that? Get the chills, right? So chills are muscle contractions. And because you have muscle contractions, this generates heat, 
which increases your fever. So let's recap. So you've got three muscle types. You've got skeletal, cardio, cardiac, and smooth muscle. One of the cool functions of muscles are movements. Skeletal is voluntary, and cardiac and smooth muscle are involuntary movements. And when you talk about skeletal function, we're talking about locomotion, breathing, and eye movement. And then with your smooth and cardiac muscle, we're talking about propelling food and fluid into the spaces they need to go. Other cool functions of the body, of the uh, muscle are body heat regulation, posture control, and blood pressure control. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.